Hi everybody, Stu AG6AG, and yeah, Microsoft changed their installation for Windows 11 Home. They patched the bugs that we were taking advantage of in order to get Windows 11 set up without an online account. Well, what does that mean? Well, it basically means that we're going to have to have an online account and be on the internet to set Windows Home up. I don't know any other way around it. I've played with it, looked at it. I can't really find a way to sneak around it. Uh, that said, uh, we can set it up with an online account and strip out that online account after we get it up and running. And that's what this video is going to show you how to do. So let's go. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, will you? And of course, any comments or questions, make them down below. Anyway, let's get to it. Well, okay, leave it to Microsoft to turn around and mess with everything that I showed you before. Um, they probably did one little loop on a function call and changed everything on us. It is what it is, right? So... Today, I'm going to show you how to go through a standard installation on Windows 11 Home. Unfortunately, creating or using the install to access an online account to get all the way through the install and then how to remove that online account successfully from your computer. Um, long way around the farm? Yes, it is. Um, but... You know, if you don't want your system tied into an online account, this here is the answer. So we're going to go through this the same way that we go through any Windows install. No changes. We're going to pop on this thing. We're going to start answering our questions. And I'm going to go through the basic installation. If you watched the previous video on this, you've seen this part of it already. Uh, and I'm, if you've watched it and you've referenced over to this one for a fix, great. You can just watch me using the, uh, uh, you can skip forward and watch me removing the online account. Anyway, uh, name my device, Windows-11-Home. And now it's going to go and look at the local LAN and make sure there isn't another machine named that. And it's going to reboot and do some other things. And it's going to take us into the mess that we call um, setting up Windows 11 Home. Now, I'll also remind everybody, Windows 11 Pro gives you another option. You can actually install with a local account. Okay, they're not forcing you into their ecosystem. And while I'm waiting for this, probably important to mention that being forced in their ecosystem may be something you might want. You might want all that kind of stuff, right? Anyway, I've ran all the tests on this. I cannot find a way to bypass this. I am going to have to create an online Microsoft account. All right? A couple different ways I can do this, but I always have to start with create one. Now, it's going to go ahead and ask me uh, for an email account. I can get a new email address from them, uh, but I don't want to do that. I, what I'm going to do is I am going to use an address that I set up specifically in Gmail for this. So let's go ahead and use that. We'll go ahead and select next. And it wants me to create a password for the Microsoft portion of this account. Okay. <clears throat> this does not have to be the same password that you created on this bogus Gmail account if you created a bogus Gmail account for this. Uh, and you certainly could use your own Gmail account. Okay. You don't have to create a new email account. And if you're going to stay with this, then by all means, use your real email. Uh, you know, less things to remember, right? 
So I'm going to go ahead and set a password. And of course, it wants me to give it a first and last name. And uh, when's my birth date? Ah, what the heck? January 1st. And let's see, I'll go 2000, right? All right. Yeah, I'm only 22 years old, right? All right, verify my email. It is going to send me an email. So I'm going to need to sneak on over to that and check to see if it sent me a verification email. All right. There that is. All right. You go ahead. All right. And I do not want additional information. There we go. And yes, it wants to make sure you're who you say you are. It doesn't want bogus stuff. Uh, considering we're going to delete it all, it doesn't much matter. But okay, we'll let them get away with that. Now it's going to go through and it's going to ask me to create a pin. All right. And again, here I am with no choice other than to create a pin. If I click create pin. Sure. Oh, come on. The nice part is I'm going to get rid of all this. All right, so I just turn all this stuff off because I like privacy. I encourage you to read through all this and see what you really want to keep on and turn off. There may be some features that might be important to you. And again, you may want to keep this online account. I'm going to skip my, um, it asking me what I'm going to be using the computer for. I want it set as generic. Uh, it wants me to add my Android phone. I am going to skip that. Why would I want to do that in the first place, right? All right. So as we go through this, let's see. All right. And of course, I've got to go through this. You're going to make me do all this, right? So I'm going to decline all of that. I am going to decline that. And I am going to skip anything that has anything to do with games. I hate it when stuff sells me stuff. <clears throat> when I've already bought stuff. It drives me nuts. All right. So now we're going to get, finally, finally we're going to get through this installation. And now I can show you the other important part is how to delete that account from the system and get rid of all this additional stuff that's on here, okay? Now, I'm going to try not to go too much in bloody detail on this. Uh, you know, there may be things you want and things you don't want. Everybody has an opinion on this stuff, and I'm, I'm glad they do. Uh, my opinion is probably a little more, I don't know, um, standoffish to all this stuff that people are trying to do, Microsoft is trying to do with the computer. But, you know, I got to remind you, you buy an Apple, it's the same thing, right? You buy a Mac, it's the same thing. And um, in some cases, even a little bit worse. Um, you buy um, a, a Chromebook, same thing. Exact same thing. You got to have an online account in order to use it. Now, with the Chromebook, I understand that because you really don't have any infrastructure on that machine. You don't have a lot of storage area. You don't have a lot of things to work with. On a PC, that's a whole different subject, right? You've got a hard drive. You can theoretically use the PC standalone, where uh, with a MacBook, or not a MacBook, but with a uh, um, oh, uh, Chromebook, you can't do that. Um, with a tablet, you can't do that. With a phone, you can't do that. But on the other side, with a PC, you can. 
So I'm going to go ahead. Let's make this a little bigger so we can actually see it. Come on. There we go. Go to my display settings. And let's go to that. And we'll keep those changes. Now, I am going to go ahead and uh, come down here to accounts. And I am going to quickly... Go down here to other accounts, and I'm going to add an account. Now, this can be a little fooling because it turns around and wants you to uh, give a sign in for this account. And I'm just going to say I don't have that information. And I am going to, don't want to, but here I have a choice. I can add user without a Microsoft account. So this user is going to be me, my password, my security question, uh, we'll do dog for that, the city I was born, I was born here, security question, childhood nickname, that's going to be me. Okay. Next. All right. Now, I'm going to take this account and I'm going to change the account type to administrator and I'm going to click OK. Now, I'm going to close that and I am going to basically log off, sign out as Monty Hall. And I am going to sign in as me. Now it's going to go through this high and everything else. Let me explain something, though. Let's say that you set this up three months ago. You have a bunch of stuff that you have associated with that account, that online account that you created. And you need to get it out of that online account before you remove that account from the computer. It isn't always as easy as you might think. So just keep that in mind. Um, you can take all the things that are important to you theoretically that are accessible on your PC and you can copy those over to a subdirectory off the C drive to make sure you have those. Uh, and you want to make sure you do that, right, before you blow this thing up. All right. Now, again, I love saying no. So there we go, no. And this brand new account now, the me account, is now set up. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my settings. I'm going to go over here again to accounts. I'm going to go to, again, to other users. I'm going to click on Monty Call and I'm going to first change the account type to a standard user. Now, why do I do that? To be honest with you, I'm really not sure if I have to. But typically when dealing with uh, network administrators and stuff like that, you want to remove them from accounts in case they're logged in someplace else. But anyway, long story short, after that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and remove the account, delete account data. This is going to wipe everything out, which is what I want. And there we go. And then off to the most important thing. I am going to reboot the computer. But there are a few settings I think I'm going to change before I do that, and I'm going to do it under accounts. And I'm going to go over here to, let's see, other users, family, sign-in options. And I am going to turn off automatic sign-in. You don't have to do this. This is just a security step that I take. And the reason that I do that is when I right, restart this thing, which is what I'm going to do right now, when I restart this thing, 
I don't want it to turn around and automatically lo log in and do other things, okay, uh, using my account. I want to physically log in to use my account after a reboot, okay? That's just, that's what, I, that's the way I usually set this stuff up, all right? All right, and, uh, you know, this thing boots pretty doggone fast, and the reason for that is it's actually a virtual machine on a much bigger machine, so... Uh, this isn't like the reason I get such a good picture and stuff for this video is I'm actually booting a virtual machine. Guys, I have to tell you, that's it for now. That hopefully will at least get you set up. One last thing I want to mention, though, is, you know, all these companies are moving towards this model. I take offense that if I have a system that I buy for my home that is not necessarily a system I want to have hooked to the internet all the time, it requires me to do an online account and requires me to be direct marketed by a company that I bought a piece of equipment from software. I don't think that's right. Everything's a trade-off, right? So with that... I hope this helps. I hope that corrects a lot of the questions that I got on the old video, and have a great day. Well, Microsoft really wants you to have that online account, and this is the only way that I could figure out how to get Windows 11 Home installed without having to keep one around. Um, again, the strategy, create a throwaway email account on one of the free email providers, Go up uh, on, uh, uh, go up during the install. Create a Microsoft account using that throwaway account, uh, and then uh, when you're all done, you know, go in and uh, create a local account, and then wipe out the online account off the system. Now, is that going to keep it from grumbling about uh, a whole bunch of stuff? Do you know it's going to be asking you all the time? Hey, you know, you need an online account. You should be online. You're missing all this stuff. Um, and you know what? Maybe you might want to try online for a while. I mean, you can do it for free. But remember, if you had an online account and were using the computer with an online account, all your documents and stuff are in that user profile. Even worse, they're up on uh, um, OneDrive. And... Uh, if you fill that drive up, you could lose access to it without buying more space from Microsoft. So um, just be aware of that. Uh, before you delete the account, again, if you were using the PC at all with that online account, and there's a chance of any data being on there, uh, make sure you get it all copied to a local portion of the hard drive before you blow that account off, okay? Anyway, with that... My name's Stu, AG6AG, and hey, don't forget to subscribe, huh? But for now, 73, and I hope to hear you out there on the air.